We have to posit the corruption in the right context. Is it the giving of money? Or the taking of money? Or taking of money. That is an infinitesimal aspect of corruption. What about nepotism? What about favoritism? What about patronage? What about clanism? For instance, now, I've seen your people. A policeman arrests TV Treka. They call me. Oh, Commander, we've been arrested, though. Why? Oh, we don't have insurance, we don't have road ready. I said, let me talk to the boy. Oh, uh, Cobra. Oh, they are my people, leave them. Is that not corruption? People go it from maybe CDD. You know somebody, you want your son to be recruited. You go and see somebody because you are a professor. They say, oh, oh, bro, bring him, bring him. He's recruited. Without going through the merits, without going through sun in the sun, he's recruited. And so many other things. So what kind of methodology? What was your point of reference? And that's my problem. And between me and you, if now we go and interview people at the harbor alone, they will have who is more corrupt there. Exactly. When we go and interview teachers or people who want to be admitted, JSS, you know who is more corrupt. But you know, police, among all the words, police, we are the interface between the law and the public. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And they see us more. Policemen are always on the road. And even the police corruption they're talking about is only at the, on the roads. The MTU, which we have accepted that is bad. Mm -hmm. But who gives them the money? Quite apart from that, traditionally, culturally, our system endorses corruption. Look at all our proverbs. We say that you are not a tafre. Any boy could dream. We say that you are. We say that you are. This one is a yom. Biya biya batabu ani tuya kana. Esine katema poko. No one has said this on them. We be proud of our koko toko. Anya na bro. Are these no corrupt proverbs? Therefore, we have to look at our own culture. Mm -hmm. So saying that police is corrupt is so easy. God, these are the people you see outside. Who else do you see outside? Mm -hmm. And let's also look at the quantum. One man, one man's corruption can dupe the country for about ten, ten million dollars. Can kill thousands of people. Yes. And police corruption, one city, one city, one city. So is it a quantum or the numbers? And is it because we are always on the... So I have a problem with the CDD, Afrobarometer, uh, because the sample size, the context in which corruption is defined should also be made to us. So that we look at nepotism, patronage, and all those things, join them together, combine them with the money collection, and let's see who is corrupt.